Harrisburg town leaders are addressing concerns about their fire department after one of their stations was forced to close the weekend before 4th of July due to staffing shortages. It's Sunday night at 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching Queen City News. I'm Derek Dumminger. Queen City News Northeast Bureau Chief Sidney Heiberger asked the town manager how they plan to recruit more firefighters and to keep them. In case of emergency, you want to be sure there's enough people nearby to spring into action. The public perception is, you know, hey, the fires are getting put out, trucks are rolling down the road, everything's good. Then they go to station three because, you know, your child or your husband's having a heart attack. You pull into the station, you see it. Hey, sorry, we're closed today because we don't have staffing on the front door. Fire departments everywhere are facing a crisis. Low pay leading to fewer people to become first responders. Harrisburg isn't immune. In fact, they had to close Fire Station 3 on July 1st after a firefighter called out sick on top of others who were out for surgeries or injuries. That brought us down to a staffing level that the chiefs were uncomfortable with. The town of Harrisburg says they're currently down about eight firefighters out of their 54-person department. The shortage mostly stemming from low pay. This time last year, Harrisburg paid their entry-level fire recruits $34,000 per year. They're not going to be able to pay what Charlotte pays or what Raleigh pays or what Greensboro pays. Like We understand that, but they've still got to be somewhat competitive in the workforce. In September, the town adjusted their firefighter salaries following a pay study. And in March, they upped yearly salaries again after increasing the number of firefighter working hours. Now they say the starting salary for a firefighter with no experience is about $41,000 plus a $2,500 signing bonus. We're trying to stay at the front of our local market and that'll help us in the short term. But in the long term, if we want more people to be in public service, we need to pay them better. We need to treat them better. Small steps in a fight to gain more employees. In Harrisburg, Sydney Heiberger, Queen City News. The firefighter advocates say that they have a meeting scheduled with Harrisburg town leaders this week to discuss issues facing first responders.